Hey everybody, Racer52 here again. This time we're taking a look at how to construct a dual zone symbol with choke. Now those two sounds may not have sounded too much different. Let me find a synthesized sound and see if we can come up with a better example. Edge. Bow. Bow. Edge. Chokeable. Alright, so how did this happen? The rolling utilizes a switch edge and a piezo for the triggering of the symbol. So, what we have here is a switch constructed from another section of a symbol. This is from a very inexpensive child symbol. This example you can see is well beat up already. Very flexible and I use tin snips to cut it. Wear leather gloves and be very careful. Then I use a grinding wheel to dress it out and smooth it out. I cut an arc out for a 12 inch symbol and one for a 10 inch symbol. The symbol I'm using as a base symbol is from a child's pulse drum kit. This is a little more solid of a symbol than the one, than the one that I'm using for the switch. So this one's pretty sturdy, has pretty much terrible acoustics. But it works great as the base for my symbol, my electronic symbol. So what I'm going to do is take this symbol and take this on the underside and use it as a contact switch so I can touch these two together and make a switch. Also I'll mount a trigger here. So let's see what that looks like on here. Here we see one switch contact, that section of symbol held with a very thin band of double face tape along the inside edge of the arc. It's only about a quarter inch wide band of double face tape just following this arc. Now there's photos of this at photobucket.com. Just search for Racer52 online. A band of double face tape holding this layer to the base of the symbol. That creates a thin air gap between the switch contact and the other part of the switch which is the symbol. So the symbol is one part of the switch this other piece of metal becomes the other. It's like two pieces of wires touching each other when I squeeze it together. These two wires are wired to your stereo jack, your TRS jack, to the sleeve and ring connection on the jack. So one wire from this goes to the ring of the jack. The other wire, which is the symbol itself, goes to the sleeve. Now, if you mounted your jack in metal and then bolted it to the symbol, that will make your connection for the symbol. I've got mine double face tape mounted because I'm trying to have a stealthy look on the back, on the front side. So I had to actually connect a wire. I soldered a wire to the symbol and then soldered it to the sleeve. But you have to have some electrical contact from the symbol to sleeve and another electrical contact from this band back to the ring. Then whenever you squeeze these together or they are struck and forced together that connects the sleeve and the ring and making the switch signal that the Roland is looking for. The trigger vibration for velocity intensity is detected by the vibrating symbol off of this trigger here. One piezo, one switch. If the symbol is struck just on the bow and not struck on the switch, then out the TRS jack is only a signal from tip and sleeve of the piezo. The piezo is connected to the tip and the sleeve of the stereo jack. If the symbol is struck against the edge and forces the edge to contact the switch, 
Then the symbol vibrates creating a signal as well as a momentary contact switch signal and the rolling brain sees, oh, switch and vibration, that's the edge. If it just sees vibration, it's the bug. Also, once the vibration has started and your cymbal sound is created by the brain, then a subsequent contact on sleeve and ring will choke it out. So I can squeeze these manually together and that chokes my sound. Or as I strike this cymbal, it flexes enough to go ahead and contact that switch and that triggers the sound of the edge. So I get an edge sound and a bow sound and a choke. The surface of the cymbal is coated with some 3M automotive rock protectant. It's a rubberized clear material that is used on the rocker panels of cars or headlights. You can find this at automotive retailers. They have services that come by and apply the stuff to the cars at a fee. From them you can find out who in the area is using the stuff and you can pick some up. So it's deadening the symbol. It also made it heavy on this side so it centers back this way. The underside, there's no protection. I have not yet made a cover for this but a nice plastic cover can be made to cover that up. So that's everything. A switch wired to sleeve and ring. One half the switch is a symbol, the other half of the switch is a section of a symbol added to it. And then the other connections are your piezo going to tip and sleeve. Hope that helps you. Good luck!